Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Catteru, a surgeon at the University of Alberta. I'm also a member of the Surgical Infection Society. This video was created to demonstrate the proper scrub technique because it is the first step in preventing surgical site infections for your patients. So it really begins with you at the scrub sink. We're scrubbing to be able to decrease the number of pathogens on your hands and arms so that you can decrease the risk of spreading infection to your patients. There are two types of scrubs, a water-based and a waterless. We'll start off with the water-based scrub and it's gonna be in the eight easy steps. The following is a demonstration intended to show proper technique. Make sure to check your institutional guidelines. Timing is very important for a water-based scrub. If it's the first scrub of the day, it will be five minutes. Each subsequent scrub will be three minutes. Now let's start off with our eight steps. The first one is to clean the fingernails. To do this, you'll have to wet your hands with soap and water. So go to the sink. There should be an automatic sensor or a foot pedal to be able to turn the water on. Wet your hands and arms and get the nail pick from within the package or there may be a separate nail pick available for you at the scrub sink. Clean all of your nails free of debris and you don't have to do this step any other time of the day unless they're visibly dirty. Now wet the scrub brush. This is where the timer begins. So wet the brush, start the time and now scrub your nails for 30 seconds. Go on to scrub the fingers. You want to hit every aspect of the fingers, including the webs, the front and the back. Go on to do the palm of the hand for 30 seconds and then the back of the hand for 30 seconds. Repeat those steps for the opposite hand. Again, doing the nails, the fingers, all aspects of the fingers, and then going on to the palm and the back of the hand. Now you're ready to go on to the forearm. So this is 30 seconds, whether it's the first scrub of the day or subsequent scrubs, they're always 30 seconds on your forearm. So start at the wrist and go all the way down to two inches past the elbow. After you've finished one hand, go on and do the 30 seconds on your other arm. Discard your sponge, start to rinse, keep your arms tilted upwards. This is important to be in that upright position, tilted forward, and we don't want any of the water to drip from a non-sterile area into the hands that you've just cleaned. Dripping is okay because now back away from the sink, go towards the door and a sterile towel will be awaiting for you in the operating room by your scrub nurse. Those are the eight steps of a water-based scrub. Get ready and you can watch our video on how to do a waterless scrub.